Hi this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and in today's episode we will discuss a very useful feature of Google Chrome that most of us rarely use. It's called Chrome Developer Tools and though it has the word developer in its name even non-developers like us can actually use Chrome Dev Tools to make the most out of Google Chrome. Now in today's episode I'm not going to give you a walk through of Google Chrome Dev Tools instead I'll share a couple of use cases a couple of examples where Chrome Dev Tools might come handy. So let's get started. Now here's my Google Chrome browser and I have opened a dummy web page now obviously there are a lot of errors on this page the headline is wrong the the background color isn't very good the fonts are too small anyway there are too many problems and we'll use our Google Chrome dev tools to actually fix all the issues of this web page but before we do that we need to launch Chrome dev tools so we press control shift i or even F12 would work on windows so once you do that Chrome dev tools would open in the lower half of your Chrome window but you can dock it to the right side or if you like you can even pull this window out of the main chrome window now for this tutorial we'll just put it in the lower half which is the default position okay let's first try fixing the wrong headline of this page so i go to my chrome dev tools and in the lower left corner you notice a magnifying glass icon now that's the selection mode so once you click the magnifying glass icon you will be able to select any element on the web page be it list paragraphs images headings anything so for this example we'll click on the first heading and uh, once that's selected we go to chrome dev tools double click the text to enter edit mode now you can change the text and as you change the text the main the text on the main web page is updated automatically for the next example let's try editing this list i won't change the text of this list but we'll reorder the items so let's say i want that sky news story at the top of the list so i'll enter selection mode and hover my mouse over sky news and select the corresponding html node in the chrome dev tools and drag it to the top of the list similarly if i want that fox news story at the bottom i can again select it and drag it to the bottom or if I don't want it at all, I can just right click that Fox News uh, node and select delete node from the options and it's gone from the web page. So it's that simple. Now the font of this um, list is way too small. So we'll try changing the font size. So I'll select the list and in the right CSS styling panel, you notice that font size attribute. We'll change the value of that from 14 pixels to say 16 pixels. Now there are a couple of ways to change this font size. I can use my arrow keys and the values are incremented in intervals of one alternatively i can press shift and the arrow keys and the values are incremented in intervals of 10 pixels and like that so for this example we'll choose something like um, 16 pixels and that will work next we'll fix the background color of this page so we choose body from the selection menu and we can fix the background color in the css styling panel now there are a couple of ways to edit this color you can either select this color and then use the arrow keys to navigate through various shades of this color now, alternatively you can select the colored box and it will open up the color palette now you can visually select a color and apply it to your background page now there's a third very cool option as well you can actually write the color name in plain english so you can write gold silver something like that if you're not sure what colors are accepted you can just write the first character of the color and it will show you the list of all colors that begin with the character so for example if i write a and i can choose say antique white from the drop down this is very cool now i'll show you one little trick here now you know that um, web pages are non-editable in the sense you can select any text on this page but you cannot edit it so it's a very different from a word processor where you can select as well as edit text however there is a little trick that will help you do that you go to the console tab in your chrome dev tools and in the command line prompt you just type document.body.content.editable equal to true basically we are setting the content editable property of the body element to true so it will allow us to inline edit any text on the web page you don't have to type all these things because they will show up in the autocomplete menu now once you do that you will be able to edit any text on this web page inline just like a word processor
The console window in Google Chrome DevTools is actually very powerful. You can do math calculations, you can do date calculations, string manipulations and more. So let's say, let's do some basic math calculations. How much is 2 plus 2? Now that was very basic, but we can do some complex ones as well. Let's say I want to convert 100 degrees Fahrenheit into Celsius. So I can just write the formula here and it will give me the answer. Similarly, if I want to know what's the square root of something, how much is pi, I can get all these answers using Chrome DevTools, the console window. We can also use the console window to for date calculations. Let's say I want to figure out how many days are there between any two dates. So I can just write that uh, expression using JavaScript notation and it will give me the answer. The answer looks a little weird and that's because it's in milliseconds. Now we need to convert this into hours or days and that we can do it using another maths formula. But before we do that, there's something called dollar underscore and it holds the value of the previous calculation. So I just have to write that formula using dollar underscore rather than writing that entire date formula again. You can do more inside the Chrome console window. For instance, you can say navigator.useragent to figure out what's the user agent of your Chrome browser. You can use uh, window dot inner height or inner width to find the dimensions of your browser in pixels and then of course you can also do text manipulations again using javascript inside the console window so first i'll create a variable called uh, text and set the value of this variable as probably the paragraph the news paragraph now once this paragraph is stored in the value variable text I can do I can use any of the JavaScript functions to manipulate this text for instance I can say text dot to lowercase or dot to uppercase to convert the case of this uh, sentence then I can also use the replace function so I can say text dot replace and replace one word with another then I can use text.length to actually figure out how many characters are in this selected text so you can do a lot of things these are just some ideas Now I'll show you something different now I'm on the postscript website and here you have a collection of image postcards now let's say I want to download all these images through my download manager and need the links of these images so how do I define that now again go to chrome dev tools the console window and here I'll write um, images equal to dollar dollar image now what this will command will do is basically store all the images on this page into the images variable now I can again use a simple for function to actually output all these images into the console window and which I can copy paste and put it in my download manager. We can do similar stuff for extracting URLs from a web page as well. So here I'm on a directory page that has tons and tons of links. So I open the console window and store all the URLs of this page to the URLs variable using the dollar dollar selector. Now once I have all the URLs in this variable I can again use a for loop to output them in plain text. We can use Chrome DevTools to reveal hidden passwords as well. For instance, here I'm on a login form where the password is filled in, but I'm not sure what the characters are. So what I can do is I can right click that field and select that using the inspect element. Once I do that, the Chrome DevTools open up and I can change the input type from password to text. And once the type is changed, I can see the characters in plain text. Let's talk about user agents now. Now I'm looking at the Google home page and I'll open the Chrome Dev Tools and in the lower right corner there is the settings gear. I open that and change the user agent from the default value to say iPhone 5. Now I'll reload the page and Google will serve the iPhone friendly version of Google home page because it thinks that an iPhone user is viewing the home page. Now this is very handy because you can serve the mobile friendly versions of Gmail maps on your desktop computer without using any extensions in Google Chrome. I'll show you one more cool feature of Chrome DevTools that website owners will particularly find very useful. Now this is my website and I want to know how this looks like when sent to the printer. So I go to Chrome DevTools and go to settings. Now here I scroll down and there you see a new option called emulate CSS media and I'll choose print from the drop down. Once you do that, Google Chrome will instantly render the print version of this uh, web page so I know exactly how this page will look like when sent to the printer. These are some basic examples. You should check out the show notes for more examples on how to use Chrome DevTools. Thanks.